Hello guys and welcome to a new episode of Money Smith channel. Hello and welcome guys to a new episode of Money's channel. Today we have the Zephyrus Asus G14. I think the Zephyrus means Hello and welcome guys to a new episode of Money's channel. Today we have the Zephyrus G14 with the Ryzen 4900H S uh, graphics card. So let's get to it. I'm just going to open it gently with my Oh, it's a white one. I don't know I actually bought the white one. I thought I bought the gray one, but I wasn't paying too much attention when I was clicking on the sale. Wow, this is light and this is small. I never imagined this would be a gaming laptop. It is light. It's not as light as a, as a, like a MacBook or a, or a Razer 13 inch or something, but this is a small gaming laptop. I have to say that. And here's the power plug. He's a purple. And it's actually quite small for a power horse like this one. So I think it's using 35 watts, very small charger, very lightweight as well. So this is the first opening of this little tiny laptop. You can open it with one hand, it does not have to rock back and forth. Here it is. Ryzen 9 RTX 2060. The keys are quite nice. I heard a lot about mushy keys, but typing on them now, I don't feel that they are mushy. Maybe a little bit? Slightly, slightly. They're not the best keyboard I've ever typed on, but at the same time, they're not the worst. They are, I've seen worse. Is that it? There is a bit of fan. It's a, it's a slight sound of fan. Whoa. Easy. Easy then. So with all the laptops that I've tested that are this uh, titanium or uh, aluminium color the the letters are very difficult to see the letters are slightly difficult to see i would have preferred to go with the gray version the darker one actually with that light they look better because you can see them better but once you turn the light on this is when things get a bit and you can't see anything it's just a blur Wow, this is uh, setting up. I can tell you that I like these buttons here for the volume. I don't think you can even see them because very bad design. If I had to comment on the screen, it's bright, it's very sharp. Uh, I have nothing to more to say about it. It's good, it's a good screen. It's not a 4K screen, but it's for 1080p or Quad HD, it's quite good. This is the software video pad version 8. And I'm just gonna load a 4k video that is four and a half minutes long. So now wow that was quick to load This video that is shot in 4k is 30 frames per second and it's dot mov dot mov So if I place it down here as you can see If I place it down here, this is when it should start rendering. Why is it not? going down. Is there any problem here guys? No? Do you want to go in here? No? Do you want to go in here? I don't know why is it not going down here. They are cutting the grass outside my house and it is very loud. I don't know what they are using an F-16. I'm just gonna try and see the test if it's fast enough. I'm just gonna see if it's fast enough. We shouldn't see anything that says loading. If you see loading here that means it's a slow laptop. But so far there is no loading. Now let me try and place it here. Why is it not being dragged? I don't understand. Very strange. I've never had this before. Now the second test we're gonna do is we're gonna change, we're gonna grade this image. This is a 4K image but I'm gonna brighten it and I'm gonna add color to it. And I'm gonna see how long it will take for it to do that. So if I come here, do you see there was a bit of delay there? But I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna go to uh, temperatures and I'm gonna change them slightly. Can you see it's taken a long time to load the temperatures? Oh, here we go. So I've now made it into a very dark sepia mode and you can see already it is crashed. Can you see? I apologize for the sound of this grass trimmer, but look, this is stuck, it's not moving. Now it's playing. 
Okay, the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the brightness of this image. So I'm going to go to uh, saturation, for example. Yeah, and we make it into 35. Wow, it's taking long. Even the 3 is not registering. Can you see? Nothing is happening here. The laptop's crash is slow, laggy, it's not loading unless there's a problem problem with the with the actual software. I don't think it's a software because I've been using it for a long time. But just for to be fair, I'm gonna download the software from my own copy, not from the internet, and see how that fares. So this message came up, it's telling me please update the latest version. And this is what I'm gonna do and see if that makes any difference because I've been having some bad results with this laptop so far. As a general rule for life, when you hear too much hype and too much uh, talk about something, don't believe it. Usually it's going to be just people getting overexcited because this laptop, if you open reviews online, you're going to find millions of... They are making this as the king of processors and I cannot even do a single 4K video editing on VideoPad it's just crashy, laggy, never loads. Sometimes it loses the image altogether, it just closes, there is nothing, it, it cannot handle it. This has just been a very bad experience, I cannot get it to work, I just can't get this thing to work. I am only playing two videos, that's all I'm doing. Two videos, one, two. There is nothing that I've done here. Two 4K videos, they're put together, it's taking Ages. Other things I can tell you about this device is there is always a whirl from the fans, even though it's idle, it's not doing anything. It's just sitting there. There is no programs running anywhere. I even disconnected the internet. It's not downloading anything. But there is this fan going on all the time. This laptop has been giving me hard times. It's crashed. It has lost its font. There was no font. You cannot see anything, just icons. There was no, I couldn't type, I couldn't read, I had to format the whole thing, reset it from the beginning. So now I'm going to reinstall Windows again and hopefully it's not going to crash one more time. I was just updating the, the BIOS update, it actually recommended that I do it. And it won't even do anything, it's just sitting there. I tried to execute a simple maneuver, transfer data from an external hard drive into the PC is still can't manage to do that calculating i don't know what is it calculating but it's calculating something it's a very simple transfer copy paste copy paste nothing it's nothing happening this is the second time it crashed when I just tried to copy something. Oh yeah, one more thing. Do you like it? What do you think? I'm talking about the back because someone, a designer somewhere, they thought it would be a very clever idea to put a design here at the back. I'm not going to be able to see that, am I? The only possible way to enjoy this silly design is if I use the laptop like that. Wow, look at this. Nice. Huh? Good. So I'm tired of this laptop. I had all day trying to figure out what's wrong with it. There is just the drivers is not the problem. I've downloaded the latest drivers. I've downloaded the latest bio systems. I went into AMD. I've downloaded their latest. Everything is up to date. It still won't even copy from the external hard drive into here. It keeps crashing. The font suddenly disappeared. There was no font. I couldn't see anything. So I had to reset it. The fan is always on, the fan is always on, what is it doing? What is it doing when it's idle? What complicated process is it trying to solve when it's on idle? Why is the fan always on? This laptop has to go back. It's probably one of the worst I've seen. It's, it's a fast graphics card. For a few minutes that has worked, the graphics card was very fast. But then, 
it just crashed. It's been three or four hours now that I've been trying to figure what's wrong with this laptop. Very annoying. Nothing seems to be working. I'm very frustrated. I've reset it twice now. Just won't copy anything. The font would disappear. It would crash. Just not right. Thank you guys for watching this episode if you did like it please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to watch another one of your choice from this list down below i would appreciate if you leave me a comment and i will try to reply to you i see you in the next episode peace